This is the Tecate experience. Cerveza Tecate has long been considered Mexico's most authentic beer. It all started way back in the 50s in a small village, Tecate, Mexico. In recent times, Cerveza Tecate's popularity has really exploded in America and internationally, largely because of Tecate's ties and relationship with professional boxing. Clearly, Tecate has become the leading sponsor of the sport. You go to a major fight, and Tecate's bold, brash branding is simply everywhere. I think Tecate and boxing blend together like the squeezing of a lime into a cold Cerveza Tecate. Vice President of Marketing and Brand Master Extraordinaire Felix Palau sat down with us and takes us through the Tecate experience. You know, everybody knows about Tecate the beer, but a lot of people don't know about uh, where it all started. Tecate, Mexico, founded, I believe, the uh, the town in, 19, in 18, 1892. I think it's somewhat 45 minutes from San Diego. Well, the city was, was founded in the late 1800s, and Tecate is obviously named after the city, but it was first launched in 1954. And it was the first national uh, beer uh, that had distribution across all the states in Mexico. And, uh, well, it has a very, very interesting uh, history. Yes, Tecate is a, is a beautiful city. Uh, I mean, you should go there. You will love it. I heard they have a great resort. They have a great resort, and there's a tour on the brewery, which is, is an amazing place, an amazing site. And obviously, you can get to know exactly how Tecate is brewed. And, uh, and, and it's very interesting to understand better the beer world from more the functional or technical side. But uh, today, Tecate, I mean, the, the, the history of Tecate is not only uh, successful in Mexico. It's sold in the U.S., across all markets, and in 30 other countries around the world. You know, speaking of first, Tecate has many firsts. The first environmentally safe cap in Mexico, uh, the first twist-off cap in Mexico, the first light beer in Mexico, the first uh, 12 packs in Mexico. And another interesting, uh, I think interesting point is the, the custom of squeezing the lime into the beer really started, they tell me, with Tecate. Well, yes, Tecate has always been innovating, not only from a product standpoint, but also from a consumption uh, standpoint. And, well, yes, the lime has been a tradition for many years, but I think that the relevant point is that uh, Tecate is, is a full flavor beer. It's a lager beer. It has a great taste. It's very refreshing. And uh, the characteristics of the liquid come from the natural uh, way in which the ingredients are processed. How important is branding in, in the beer and alcohol industry? You're an expert on that. Very much. I mean, the beer industry is, is a very image-driven category. Yes, obviously, the liquid is important, and there are a lot of characteristics that differentiate your product from another product. But at the end, it's about emotions. It's about connections. So that's what we do with boxing. It's trying to connect with the consumer through this platform. How did you get involved? How did Tecate become so involved in the sport of boxing as its, uh, in my opinion, leading sponsor? Well, it's, it's a very interesting story. And it's not a long time ago since we started making ourselves some questions, very important questions in the U.S., uh, to decide if we wanted to enter this platform. The first question was, is boxing a right fit to the brand? Meaning that if it delivered the attributes that we wanted to build around our positioning, and uh, Tecate is a brand that toasts for the consumer's character, for the dedication, the hardship, and the courage of, of the Hispanic consumer. And boxing is all about that. So, yes, the answer was, yes, boxing is the best fit that a platform could have to deliver those image attributes. Then the second question was, okay, is boxing really relevant for our consumers? Is it relevant for the Hispanics? And, I mean, there are many sources that confirm that, just to mention one, According to an ESPN Deportes uh, poll, 57% of Hispanic men in the U.S. are boxing fans versus a 35% of the general market. So the second question, yes. And the answer was yes. Uh, boxing is a very relevant platform for a consumer. And then the third one, the third question, and maybe the most important one that we asked ourselves was, do we have the capabilities to really become a very significant player in this category or in this industry? And the answer was yes, uh, because we, we have the platform to deliver the best 
connection with consumers, meaning that we have a great sales force, that we have a distributor force, our partners, and, and, and about 15 to 20,000 retailers across the different markets that help us build this platform and help us connect with consumers through boxing. The Tecate experience, man, I've really enjoyed uh you know, setting the table for some of these fights and right before the fight, Takate at these major fights, for example, here in, in, in Vegas, uh, the setup that goes on, the Takate experience for the fight fans at a fight. Leading up to the fight, what we normally do is we launch commemorative packaging of Takate with the boxer images in the product, in the label, in the cans. We also launch the uh, pay-per-view mailing rebates in which Consumers can get discounts up to $30 on the pay-per-view buy. We launch a specific communication of the fight, POAs displays at retails, uh, tailored TV, radio, and out-of-home uh, with the fight details. And we also launch some uh, cross-merchandising promotions for viewing padding essentials such as ice, chips, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Now then, the second component during the fight week Autograph sessions uh, with Golden Boy uh, and top-ranked boxers at retail locations. Some promotions with uh, personalities such as Piolin, which you may know is one of the leading Hispanic radio commentators in this in this country, where we can have up to five to 7,000 spectators in, in our specific retail living a boxing experience with Piolin. Text to win and text to upgrade promotions. And recently, we launched the Museo de Box Tecate, which is a branded mobile boxing museum that features memorabilia of the most relevant boxing moments of the last years. And this is another way in which we bring closer to consumers the boxing experience. This boxing museum has traveled in this year about 7,000 miles and visited about 15 different markets in the U.S. And then during the fight itself, it's not only about just putting our brand in the mat. It's not only about putting Tecate in the ring. It's about how do we bring this experience in a much broader way to the consumers. So once you get to the event, obviously you see all the Tecate signage, but you can also encounter the, the brand ambassadors, which will invite consumers to, to live some boxing experiences, such as the champ activations where consumers can take pictures wearing a championship belt on a mini ring posting with the Chicas Tecate or the Dragon uh, Punch and other interactive boxing games that are set up for activation. And in the events, we also launched commemorative, commemorative Tecate Cups with fighter images. And just recently, one of the latest things that we did is the launch of the Tecate Belt Award, which is an invitation to consumers that are watching a pay-per-view event or that are watching a televised event to vote for the boxer that showed the most character during the fight. And obviously, there's a winner, and then we feature a two-minute capsule of that winner featuring a day on, on, on its life. So again, it's a way to bring in the experience closer to the consumers and to engage and have a communication with our consumers. And you know, one of the things that I've learned is that working together works. And it sounds as though these promoters, uh, obviously, they've seen the success uh, that, that Tecate's had. And, and it sounds like they're working closely with Tecate to, to bring the events uh, correctly to the fans. Absolutely. And it is an open conversation. We are always asking ourselves, how can we do this better? How can we innovate? How can we incorporate new elements to, to make consumers really vibrate with the sport? And what we are looking for is to bring new audiences to broaden the scope of the boxing uh, uh, fans. And I think uh, we have done a lot of good things this year, and but there are a lot of uh, uh, things that should be coming up for the next five to ten years. You know what I'd love to see, and I've been around the sport, uh, Felix, since I was uh, – uh, a 10-year-old lad chasing Muhammad Ali around the, the Fifth Street Gym in Miami. And one of the things I would like to see is that the fans in the U.S. become like the boxing fans in Mexico and even internationally now in Great Britain and what have you. We've lost a little bit, I think, it's, and we've chronicled it here on in this corner with our amateur program. But that would be, to me, the thing. If the boxing fan here would be like the boxing fan in, in, in Mexico, we'd all have it made. Well, we need, we need to support the emerging boxers. And that's what we do along with 
our partners with the series, with the televised series. Uh, we currently support ESPN Friday Night Fights. We also support uh, Solo Boxeo Tecate with uh, Telefutura and Univision and Golden Boy. And we also support uh, Top Rank Live uh, with uh, Fox Sports and Fox Sports and Espanol. So it's about giving the space to new talent, making them uh, be uh, much more recognized by the, by the audience. And that's what we are committed to. So again, we need new boxers. We need uh, fans to have new heroes, uh, uh, boxers that they can love or that can, they can even hate. I mean, uh, boxing, it's about this experience. It's about making this excitement. It's about bringing all of the passion and all of the character to life. And this is what we want to keep doing for many years uh, coming in the future. The promoters, the fighters... Uh, the fans of boxing certainly uh, owe Takate uh, some gratitude because you guys have uh, been committed totally to the uh, to the sport of boxing. What are your plans, Felix, for 2011 uh, with Takate and, and, and uh, boxing? We need to keep innovating. We need to keep uh, bringing new elements to engage with consumers. Social media is a big component. We definitely want to to start developing more efforts behind social media. But I think it's also about how do we bring uh, the boxing events to a more local and a more regional uh, footprint. And that means supporting even more the, the series. How do we uh, make local events bigger and louder? So that's pretty much what we intend to do in 2011. And Felix, a final uh, word uh, from uh, you to the to the boxing fans out there and the uh, consumers of Tecate. I just want to thank uh, all the, the the partners that we have in this industry for the, the great support that Tecate has received and uh, for the open-minded and for the commitment to, to connect and engage with consumers. And I would like to invite uh, anybody that has not necessarily assisted to a boxing event to do it you will be thrilled you will be really excited you will go back to another one and it's something that you must live invite your friends invite your family and you won't regret it and along the way uh have a tecate of course and a tecate like too thanks for joining us